Hey guys, once again I am back with one of my new video tutorial where I'm gonna show you how we can create this type of contact form in your WordPress website. My name is Saddam Qasim and I'm a WordPress expert. And today we are going to create this type of contact form with the help of a free contact form plugin. So I'm gonna show you how we can arrange the fields in two or three columns as well. We are going to make this kind of form where when someone fill up the details then all those details will be sent to a specific email address. So let's get started. This is my WordPress website. Let's go on to the plugins and then click on add new. Now we need to search for a plugin that is WP forms. Remember this is just one word. There is no space in between. So the first plugin is contact form by WP forms. This is 100% drag and drop based contact form builder that can help you to make any type of contact form easily. Just install and activate this plugin. This is the welcome screen of WP forms plugin. Also on the left hand side, you can see a new tab has been added. So either you can simply go on to this WP forms and then click on add new or you can directly click on this create your new first form from the WP forms welcome screen. Now in this box, you need to provide a name. For example, contact us form. This is the contact form name just for your reference. And here we can click on blank form. So just create a blank form. A new screen will be loaded onto your computer very soon. Okay, so this is the WP form builder screen form where we can easily drag and drop the elements from the left hand side in the right panel and we can create our own desired contact form. These 8 to 10 fields are completely free for you as we are using the WP forms free version. But if you would like to use these premium fields like phone number, calendar or website password or you can also use the upload file field then you need to buy the premium version. So firstly, let's create the contact form with the help of this free version. So in order to add the name, here we have the name field. You just need to drag and drop and it will appear over here, something like this. Here we go. So this is the first name and that's the last name field. Now let's make it full width because here you can see it is not stretched or haven't occupied the complete width of this row. So click on this option. And here we have the label field. So you can change the label as per your need like your name. And you can see in the real time the label has been updated. This is the format first name last name or how exactly you would like to ask the name from the customer. So this is how it looks like. So let's make it first and last two fields are enough. Here you can make this field mandatory or not. So right now it is required and this is the indication that user must have to fill these fields otherwise form will not be submitted. So it is required if you uncheck it, then red mark will be removed. Keep it required. Now let's close this tab. Second tab is advanced settings. So from here we can specify the field size. Here it is medium. If you make it small, it will be more smaller or you can make it large. So I always recommend you to keep it large. Now in this box, you can put the placeholder for the first name. So for example, we can type here first name. And this will appear as the placeholder like this. In the same way, we can put the placeholder for last name. Okay. And now we can hide this label. It is really not needed. So label has been hidden and we can also hide the sub labels. Sub label means these first and last. So let's hide it from here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and we can click on add fields. Now it's time to add a new field. So let me check the reference website. Okay. Second field is email. So we can drag and drop the email field from here. Cool. Let's click to add it. And then here is the email that is the label. That's up to you whether you would like to make it as a mandatory field or not. We can go on to the advanced. From here we can put the field size as large. And in the placeholder we can put it as email. So this is fine and we can hide the label. Now. Let's go back to the fields section again and in order to collect the phone number here, we do not have the phone number standard field because it is the part of the premium fields. So here we can use the single line text, just click on it. Then also it will appear over here. So either you can drag and drop or just click. Now click to edit. We can change the label to phone number. You can make it required or not. That's up to you. Go to the advanced options from here, make it large and in the placeholder, we can type phone number. 
let's hide the label okay and then we can close it i know you must having a question that uh, we need to put this email on the left hand side that is in the half portion and phone number should be on the right hand side that's okay i will let you know very soon how exactly we can do that and that is really super easy now let's check out the next field site address okay so let's go to the fields in order to collect the site address again we need to use this single field because for the website collection it is a part of premium fields so either you can simply drag and drop or we have this phone number field just duplicate you can see this icon just click on it and duplicate it okay now click to edit here we are on the field options single line text so the label is phone number copy we can change it to site address okay now here we can change the placeholder that's nice now it's time to add a drop down as we have over here select priority standard or urgent so here we have the drop down element available just drag and drop now click to edit here we can set it like service priority and in these boxes you can provide the options for example urgent standard if you have more uh, like options then you can add one by one you can just click on this pluses and these boxes will be appearing and if you would like to delete any extra box just click on this minus and these fields will be deleted now let's close this tab we can go on to the advanced options and then make it large in the placeholder text we can set something like select priority so it will appear something like this hide the label that's okay all right now last field is i think message yes other information or comments so for uh, you know for collecting the message we need to use the paragraph field so here we have paragraph text just drag and drop now click to edit here we have this label make it message and remember in case of paragraph text field if you increase the size to large then height of this box increases but width is always 100% by default so here i suggest you to make it small so at least this will be appearing something like a two line box in this box we can put something like other information or your message and height label okay that's all we had to do now let's go ahead and we can arrange few fields in two columns so already the name field is in two columns we don't need to do anything with this field but with email and phone number we need to adjust email in the 50 percent half portion and phone number should be on the right hand side so let's click to edit on email field now inside this advanced options here you will be seeing CSS classes. Just click on show layout. And here we have these layouts available. So in order to arrange the fields in two columns, we have this first section. Just click on it. And in order to put the email in the first half portion, you need to click on the first half portion over here. So this is a predefined CSS class which has been applied to this email field. Now let's go on to the phone number. Then go on to the advanced options. And again, inside this show layout you need to click on the first section again and then in case of phone number you need to select the second box so the second half class will be applied onto this phone number field in the same way we need to do with site address site address should be on the first half portion so click on this show layout then click over here and then priority will be going on to the right 50 percent portion okay here we go now let's click on save so this is how we make the contact form don't worry i will also show you the preview of this form now let's go ahead and we can set up the email address because when someone will be filling up this uh, field or form then on what email address the details will be sent to so inside the settings you need to go on to this notifications make sure the notification is on from here now in this box sent to email address here you can put your own email address for example i can put my own email address 
So whenever someone fill up the form and submit, the details will be sent to this email address. If you would like to collect the details on more than one email, then you can simply put comma and then add a new email address again. I'm just leaving it to one. In this box, you can update the subject of the email. So I'm just leaving this as it is from name. So I suggest you to make it as your website name, like we can say coupon tape from email address. So this will be the admin email address that will be showing on to the customer inbox, like from which email address he received the mail. So that's up to you. If you would like to update, then update it. Otherwise, leave it as it is. At last, we can click on save. Now, click on this embed button. So this is the short code that we just need to copy from here. I'm just copying this short code. And we can go on to the contact page of our website. So this is my WordPress dashboard. Here's the contact page. Let's click on edit. Okay. We can click on edit with Elementor as I'm using the Elementor page builder on this website. So this is my website contact page. Let's take a section over here and we are going to use this section. And I can resize it something like, okay. Now in the middle section, I'm going to display the contact form. So here I will search for short code as we have already copied the short code from the WP forms screen. So we are going to paste the short code in this box and then apply. Here we go. So guys, this is how we can display the contact form into your WordPress website. And we have used the free version of WP forms. Now let's change the color of submit button. And also we can make it as a full width, something similar to this one. So in order to do that, you just need to go on to your WordPress dashboard. I'm just closing the WP forms screen and we need to add a new plugin. So just click on add new in the search box. You need to type for CSS JS. So we are going to paste a CSS code in order to customize the submit button of WP forms. Just scroll down. And this is the plugin that I mostly use in order to paste any kind of custom CSS or JS code. Just install and activate this plugin. It is by silkypress.com. So we have a new tab custom CSS JS. Just click on add custom CSS. And here we can give it any name. For example, WP forms submit button. This is just for your reference. In this box, just control A and delete all the existing code. This will not be deleted. So just leave it as it is. And I have a code that I have pasted over here. You can find this code as a file in the video description. Just go over there and you can download this code and paste it inside this custom CSS JS plugin. That's all you have to do and then click on publish. Now I'm going to open my website coupontape.com and we will redirect onto the contact page manually. Let's click on contact. Here we go. So you can see we have created the contact form with full width submit button and the color has also been changed. We have the drop down available over here. Now I have created a different form as well. That is of course a big form. Uh, recently I have delivered a website to one of my client. Let me show you. So this is a website that I have recently developed for the, uh, you know, sports award committee of India. And this is a big form that they asked me to create that collects the pan number, passport number. There's also a date of birth field, something like this. And we have the category, we have the option to upload the photos or documents inside it. So uh, this kind of form can also be created with the help of WP forms, but you need to purchase the premium version. So let's check out onto the Google first, what exactly the original price of WP forms plugin. That is the premium version. So we can search over here. Okay. We can go on to the pricing. So you can see here, the price starts with 39 bucks per year and it goes around to $99. So here you just need to go on to wpscratch.com and on this website, you can get this WP forms plugin at a very huge discount. I think in 10 bucks, you can purchase this plugin. So simply type here WP forms. Okay. So these all are the plugins which are related with WP form terms. Click on view all results. So these all are the extensions of WP forms. Let's scroll down. We can go on to the second page. Okay, here we go. So this is the form WB forms drag and drop WordPress form builder. You can simply purchase this plugin for just $10. And this provides you all the features and functionalities that you need in order to use a premium version. 
all those premium fields will be unlocked and you can use it on any number of website there is no limitation plus you can get one year free updates as well so i mostly use this plugin onto my clients websites in order to create these type of complex forms also it allows you to add the conditional logic into your contact forms so this is really a very great plugin if you would have any questions just send me your messages thank you very much